Killer Clowns will now be hitting one full day of live service, even though they had the week early access if you pre-ordered. The game has been officially globally live now for a full day. And we're going to talk about everything that's occurred in day one, especially with the fact that I played about half of day one yesterday during our live stream. If you don't believe me, just go to this stream right here. It's my 12-hour clownathon. Now, the only time we did stop, of course, was when the servers went down around 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But before we break down everything, welcome back, Daddies and Ghost Beaters. If you're new to the channel, I am Old Head Gaming. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for all horror-related videos. Now, let's talk about everything that's kind of going on. So first thing, obviously, the patch. And there's some good and some bad that came with it. First, let's talk about, like, let's kind of brief overview of the patch notes. Now, of course, the patch notes dropped yesterday with some general crash fixes, improvement optimization, fixes improvements on bot behavior. Not sure that was entirely there yet. Crossplay account linking crossplay party invites are now available now. The downside is so far it's only available on PlayStation and Steam linking through Epic. Uh, because we're going to talk a little bit more about what's going on with Xbox. Uh, added blocking volumes at escape locations to prevent body blocking escapes. Address several issues to prevent exploits related to items and EXP. This was mostly going on with the duplication of items. Addressed several issues that were causing players and cocoons to fall through the map. Fixed an issue where language options were not appearing. A Steam client fixed an issue. Intro some cinematics. Would sometimes be missing assets. More bot stuff we're replacing with players. Various issues address collision issues stuck in spots of the map. This was one of the bigger problems getting stuck on the map. Uh, and then sound effects and XP exploiting. All right, easy peasy. Then there was a bunch of stuff they did with the humans. Um, and we're just gonna kind of touch on the big ones, nothing too big. No, we're gonna skip over the little small ones. Now, they did do some stuff with humans and with clowns. I'm gonna include the link to the entire patch notes in the video, so you can kind of read down further. I'm just gonna kind of touch on the big ones, such as like not being able to crouch, uh, fix the issue with certain outfits were missing flashlights, um, fix the issue where player would sometime regenerate stamina while sprinting even without having any buffs. That was kind of an exploit that we saw a lot during the early access. Fix the issue where throwing prediction line would sometime not line up with the throwing of the item. It made it really hard to hit with baseballs, bricks, stuff like that. Fix the issue where the compass would locate items that weren't there. So you would activate compass and be like, oh, I'm going to go over here. And the item wasn't there. Uh, increase fear reduction while hiding in a hiding spot. Reduce the damage that axes deal to gated exit barriers. Because you could one shot a gate almost with an axe. So now it takes like two or three hits. Um, for clowns, uh, adjust the camera with balloon dog. Uh, improve the improvements to clown voice over IP when transitioning from team chat to proxy. Uh, and then they did a lot of stuff with nerfing some of the weapons or raising them. Like they nerfed the bounce caster, they nerfed the popcorn gun, they raised pentacast. So like we saw a lot of that. Increased damage of a cocoon throwing at a human. I actually saw that last night. There was one moment where I threw a cocoon at a human trying to come at me. And I did about a bar of damage. I was surprised about how much damage it actually did. Um... Increase climb movement when sprinting backwards. Fix the issue that caused popcorn bazooka to deal double damage. Uh, reduce the range of the popcorn bazooka. Reduce the environmental damage of popcorn bazooka. Reduce tracking time of popcorn bazooka. This was a big focus because the popcorn bazooka is still a slightly oppressive, but it was a massive problem earlier. Increase pentashot cottonization damage and projectile hit detection. Uh, reduce bounce caster cottonization damage. You could definitely two-shot someone with the Bounce Caster. Increase mallet charge, speed, and damage. So it now makes it a little bit better to use melee weapons and reduce hypnotic lure escape threshold. So that was kind of what we got from the first update. Now, the biggest problem we saw yesterday was just like May 26, 2022, when Xbox just decided they weren't going to process and authorize the update to Evil Dead's first update. And Xbox got left behind, PlayStation and Epic were playing by themselves, an entirely different client for about 10 days. And here we go again. We're closing in on the completion of day one and no word of when Xbox is going to get the update. Now, this really sucks because as a fan of 
everyone playing together and as much fun as we had in the over 10 hours we played killer clowns yesterday it would have been lovely to have all of our xbox friends so this is a big miss i know it's not terravision Elphonic's fault as much as it is xboxes and they are notorious for authorizing updates tremendously lately this is not a new problem but it does suck when you have a day one update and this is preventing people from playing the game on day one it does leave a sour taste in people's mouths when this is the first experience they might have to play killer clowns from outer space this is a problem that xbox has exhibited for years we saw it all the way back with evil dead i've seen it before with ghostbusters but it is what it is like this is where we're at we have to wait hopefully it doesn't take a full week and i hope to see in the next day or two that the rest of the xbox community can join us here on playstation and steam now, talking about crossplay, it is going to require you to use Epic. This is exactly the same system they use in Ghostbusters. You link your Epic account to the game, and then you make friends with people on the opposite systems through Epic and bring them in that way. There's a completely separate, and I'll show that to you right now, so that way you can see it. Now, when you go to your friends list, I'm playing on PlayStation, so all your PlayStation friends will just show up. This would be the same with Xbox or Steam. All your friends are just going to show up. The next part is crossplay. And as you can see here, it's going to show right here at the bottom, right above where it says log out, Epic Games account, Old Head Gaming. That's my Epic Games account. These are people I've made friends with on Steam through Epic. So they use, they sent me a friend request or vice versa through Epic Games and then became friends with me and then i can bring them into my my game of killer clowns so that is how it works if you don't have an epic games account make sure you sign up for one uh so but if you play anything like fortnite fall guys rocket league you should have one and you can accept friend requests through those games if it makes it easier for you then they also drop their first paid cosmetics and i will show you them as well and I'm going to be honest, both of these cosmetic patches are just pure wins. First is the first of the amazing skins from, from Tom Savini. This is Fluxo. He is a killer clown. Very reminiscent to me, Moria from One Piece, but it's a really good skin. I can show it to you in game if you need to, but I'm just showing images of the skin it's very good it's 4.99 it is only playable for one class it is a rain this is the ranger skin now there is four other coming i'm assuming they're all going to be the same price the um 4.99 price for the skins but this is what you're looking at it's a ranger skin it's available this is flexo it's a exclusive skin to the ranger class and it's 4.99 now there is also a clown pack that was also bought and now it's showing unavailable for me because i own all of this stuff this is the human clown cosplay pack and it is some glorious stuff this is kind of what you're looking at all these items are available for pretty much all your survivors clown wigs clown makeup noses these ridiculous outfits and this is $6.99 so this is a seven dollar bundle now after the update the game did feel a lot better but there was some stuff that was still pretty janky. We did have some problems with picking up weapons still. Knives in particular, and sometimes with thrown spark plugs. So say, for example, you're going to leave a map. You drop the spark plug for one of your teammates, because if you take it with you, it's no longer there. And those types of items would not get any kind of prompt for anyone in the match to go and pick up. So we would have like a spark plug that we couldn't use or a knife we couldn't pick up. I'm also noticing that there is some really kind of jankiness with certain things and so even though the update did clear some things up they did reset those incompleted challenges but some of them still aren't tracking the hitboxes on thrown weapons does seem better so it does seem like they fixed that but there's still a lot of stuff that just seems to be a little bit off especially the hit boxes on down clowns and in particular the brawler class i don't know we there was a moment where it took three of us to kill a shorty all of us with knives out just stabbing away because we just couldn't hit that hit box that needs to be fine-tuned a little bit i actually like what they did with the pentacast i feel like it does feel like a usable gun but not tremendously oppressive i was running it all night on the very few clown matches i had i think i only had like four or five clown matches in the 10 hours i played 
I am disappointed to see the preference system did not launch with the first update. I felt like that is something people really need. The preference system is coming. I was hoping to see it today. It did not happen. I was also disappointed to see traps were not brought back. Uh, the last time I got a chance to use them was in early, early access over the weekend before the game went live for early access. And I know they were like absolutely destroying games and crashing them completely, but I was hoping to see them come back. And now um, it's interesting to see some of the challenges have been changed to remove the need for traps, which means I think there's a much bigger problem going on with traps and it might take a while for them to come back. Now, obviously, I think they're going to probably put them back in for later challenges, but like it, it does suck that that trapper class is kind of missing its hallmark, those baby clown traps. Also, I was a little disappointed in the fact that there was nothing we could do with Xbox players. I was really excited to play with everyone. Um, I just happened to get the game as my review copy on PlayStation, so I was not affected by this. Um, and then all of my community and friends who were playing on Steam obviously weren't as well. I know this isn't an Illphonic problem, but it does suck for, for all those players, and I'm sure it sucks for Elphonic, TerraVision, that they're not able to get this rolled out, and I'm hoping it happens quicker. The one last thing I will talk about is I've seen a much... What's the word? I want? A little bit quicker reload time on the bazooka. I don't think that was intended, and it is making it really hard for survivors to use items when trying to escape from the bazooka. So that might be something that needs to be looked at a little bit as well. And but overall, I think the patch did some really good quality of life work for Killer Clowns, even though there is some problems going on. I love the cosmetics. I will buy everything if it's this quality coming down the line to support Killer Clowns. The game was a ton of fun. I played over 10 hours yesterday and other than being physically exhausted, I had an absolute blast and playing with people is so much more fun. I will hope to see that final map drop. I thought we were going to have all five at launch, but it doesn't look like that rolled out either with a bunch of issues. So those are things to keep an eye on is stuff not getting out on time or being a little bit adjusted by some jankiness. But overall, I still feel like if you enjoyed Friday the 13th or you just like having fun at ASIMS, Killer Clowns is the way to go. Let me know, though, what you think in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching and later, mates.